Hello and welcome to the Out of the Sandbox video guide to the newsletter signups and pop-ups. Today we're going to be taking a look at this feature that is built into your Out of the Sandbox theme, and we're also going to take a look at how you can do a bit of customization to the newsletter signup in the footer of your theme. As an e-commerce merchant, you may already be aware of the importance of email marketing as just one component of your overall marketing efforts. So it makes a lot of sense to present your shoppers with either a sign-up field or a pop-up where they can share this information with you. You don't have to take my word for it. There are a plethora of blog articles from Shopify and from various sources that will talk to you about the importance of email marketing, the importance of capturing this information from your shoppers while they're on your site, and the importance of using a pop-up. As much as you may not be a fan of pop-ups, the research results are in and pop-ups work for capturing this type of information. The pop-up feature is already built into your Out of the Sandbox theme, and depending on which theme you use, there are various styles and combinations of settings that you can use to customize this modal, window, pop-up, whatever you choose to call it. To access these settings, as usual, go to Admin, Online Store, Themes, Customize Theme. Now, depending on which theme you're using, your pop-up settings will be found in a couple of different places. And so here they are, whether you're looking into the Newsletters tab, or the Colors tab, or the Pop-Up tab, depending on which theme you're using. But if you take a look closely, most of the settings are pretty much the same, except for a few extra settings in the Turbo theme. As a first step, I want you to take a look at these settings right here, the Seconds Until Pop-Up appears, and the Days Until Pop-Up is displayed again. We want to set those to 0 seconds and to Test Mode, respectively. This way, the Pop-Up will reappear for every change that we make. We'll want to be sure to change this back at the end of our configuration to make sure that our shoppers aren't faced with the pop-up for every page of your site that they visit. We're going to be taking a look at our first example here, which applies to the responsive, mobilia, retina, and parallax theme. I'm using mobilia right now, and I've turned on test mode. Here's what happens when I enable the pop-up. It appears with the newsletter form appearing, which is the space to enter the email address with the button. You can remove that if you're looking to create an information-only style pop-up. You can add any page content you'd like to this pop-up. If you're unfamiliar with how to create page content, head over to Online Store, Pages, and here I've created a page. I've added some text to the page. I've done some right alignment to the text with the intention of displaying this text in the pop-up. To do that, head back over to the newsletter settings, and in the pop-up content page setting, select the page. And there it is appearing immediately. To add the background image to the pop-up, back out of the newsletter settings and head into the color settings. If you scroll down in the color settings here, you will eventually find some settings associated with the pop-up, including a background color if you'd like to apply a background color, or better yet, using a custom image. So I'm going to select an image here, and then it renders as the background of the pop-up. Now all we really need to do is change that text color so that it looks a little bit better against that background, and we've recreated that first pop-up example. With these four themes, Mobilia, Responsive, Parallax, and Retina, you can achieve this type of pop-up using the built-in settings. And if you're ever looking to have an image appear within the content, you would just add that to your page content as opposed to selecting a background image. Now we're going to take a look at our turbo example. This is the pop-up that I'm going to try to recreate here with an image on the left and some text and the sign-up field. So here I am again in the customized theme settings into newsletter and you see the turbo theme has quite a few extra options. I'm going to throw this into test mode first and then go ahead and enable the pop-up and see what renders. So this is the appearance of our default pop-up. We can add this border if we'd like, this extra feature. And here we've selected to use an image. I'm going to go ahead and swap out that image with the bouquet image that I have selected and pay attention to those image dimensions. The 425 by 575 pixels, highly recommended you use those dimensions for adding an image to your pop-up. We have some alignment options for the image as well as the text. And now instead of creating page content for this type of pop-up, the title and the content are built-in settings, so no need to go over to the Pages interface when you're using the Turbo theme to create your pop-up. Here are the few text alignment options, looking good. Like with the other themes, to take control over the background color of the pop-up, head out of the Newsletter settings and into the Color settings. Scroll on down to the bottom, and in the Turbo theme you'll find the 
newsletter pop-up background color setting. You can go ahead and select it, and then change it to that pink color or thereabouts to match our demo. In these settings, you may also notice the newsletter section background color setting. This applies to the section that appears above the footer on all turbo pages where shoppers can enter their email address. You can control the color using this setting, or if you'd like, you can head back into the newsletter settings and apply a custom image. So in the newsletter settings down at the bottom, we have this banner section, use a background image, and then select a background image that has those recommended dimensions. So I'll select the one I have here. And you'll see there is also some text alignment options. I think that center is going to look great with the image that we've selected here. To take control over the text captions that appear in that section, head into Themes, then use the ellipsis icon to get into Edit Languages. And from here, you're going to want to search for Newsletter, which is going to bring up a bunch of fields, and you can enter the captions that you would like to appear in that newsletter sign-up section. The email addresses that customers share with you through the pop-ups or through the sign-ups will be stored in the Customers tab of your admin panel. But if you're using MailChimp, which is a third-party newsletter service, you can hook up these fields to store the information on MailChimp instead. But you're going to need to add your form action URL to the settings, and I'm going to show you how to do that. First, you'll head over to MailChimp and log in. And from there, go to Lists along the top, then open up your list, your custom list. Go to Sign Up Forms, Embedded Forms, where you will find the entirety of an embeddable snippet here. Unfortunately, MailChimp won't let you just copy out a piece of it. You have to copy the whole thing. So I copy it to a text file first and then locate the section that says Form Action and copy the URL between the quotation marks just like I have there. Copy it to your clipboard, then head back into your settings and drop it in the MailChimp Form Action URL field. And you're all set. With your pop-ups and your sign-up field sections configured, don't forget to head back into your newsletter settings and switch it out of test mode so that the pop-up doesn't reappear every time a shopper goes to refresh their page. As always, if you have any questions or hit any snags, head over to outofthesandbox.com and use the contact us form to get in touch. Thank you for joining me for this helpful, friendly video walkthrough. My name's Sean Campbell. Take care.